Hello everyone, I'm Carlos Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. I'm here with Carlos Hubert of Arquis. How are you, sir? How are you, Carlos? We're at Twisted Lily, and he's going to give us a run-through of his latest release coming up in September 1st, I believe, right? September 1st, yes. Yeah. Called Nanban. Yeah. So, um, Nanban is a fragrance that we're very excited to launch. Uh, it was created by Rodrigo For Flores Ru, um, who is my partner in crime and fragrance, as you know. And um, Nanban means is an old-fashioned way of saying foreigner in uh, in Japanese, and it actually the direct translation is southern barbarian, because the Japanese saw anyone coming from the outside as a barbarian at that time, uh, and they would always sail in from the south uh, part of the country, and uh, this was around the 16th and 17th century that the Spanish and the Portuguese had uh, trade with Japan, okay. and they had uh, settled in Nagasaki, and that's why you have uh, things, for example, like tempura, uh, that is actually a Portuguese recipe I didn't know that, that was adapted by the wow. Japanese. So there was a period of like Western influence in mm -hmm. Japan way before uh, you know, the modern age. Awesome. So what's, all, what's it all about? What kind of notes? I so the story behind uh, the Bayan Nanban is we wanted to actually evoke uh, the hull of a ship that mm -hmm. contained all this exotic cargo of leather, uh, spices, incense, and other precious goods like silver, uh, artwork, uh, religious objects mm -hmm. that this delegation of Japanese were bringing back into Japan uh, from Europe and the Americas. And this was in 1613, they sailed uh, the world for seven years they came back in 1621, okay. um, and they had tried to secure trade agreements with the West. Mm -hmm. However, most of these uh, negotiations actually failed because then the Japanese government decided to expel the Spanish and the Portuguese mm -hmm. and to stop all commerce with Europe. So, in essence, all of these things that they brought back to Japan in their ship mm -hmm. were kind of like never to be seen again until 250 years later when Japan, Japan reopened the doors to the West. Wow. That's some backstory, yeah. So it's a, it's really like a blending of like east and west in all these materials. We have uh, spices from Southeast Asia, which was the last leg of the voyage. Mm -hmm. We have uh, roasted coffee beans, uh, hazelnut, chocolate uh, that came from Mexico. Mm -hmm. We had Spanish leather from Spain, frankincense and myrrh, which were actually uh, frankincense was used in Japanese incense, but not in combination with myrrh. So this sort of idea of like Western church incense, they brought back with them. And all of these things is really, evokes this sort of like very woody, heady, um, mysterious atmosphere of something that it's is definitely unknown. definitely complex. It's, um, like I said earlier, it's a lot different than a, your other offerings, but it smells good. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. It's a 21% concentration. Whoa. So it means this is extremely long lasting mm -hmm. uh, and very diffusing. So I think for a scent that is actually based on a lot of heavy materials, very, very uh, base uh, materials, it has incredible flight mm -hmm. and incredible signature. It really, I mean, and not making this up, but every single time I've worn this, somebody says, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? So awesome. it leaves a trail behind that is we're very proud of. Good, right. huh? Very good. All right, so Mr. Carlos will bear himself, Nanban Twisted Lily. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Carlos. See you. And see you all next time. Take care. <laughs>